Community Presbyterian Church's Monday Thursday evening prayer service. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, the shepherd of Israel, their pillar of cloud by day, their pillar of fire by night. In these 40 days, you lead us into the desert of repentance that in this pilgrimage of prayer, we might learn to be your people once more. In fasting and service, you bring us back to your heart. You open our eyes to your presence in the world, and you free our hands to lead others to the wonders of your grace. Be with us as we continue this journey, for without you, we are lost and will perish. To you alone be dominion, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Our psalm is Psalm 116. I love you, Lord, because you have heard my voice and my supplications. Because you inclined your ear to me, therefore I will call on you as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray, save my life. What shall I return to the Lord for all of God's bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of the faithful ones. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the child of your serving girl. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you a thanksgiving sacrifice and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Our Gospel reading is from John, chapter 13, verses 1 through 17, 31b through 35. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and to go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, tied a towel around himself, then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He said to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you coming to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to be washed except for the feet, but is entirely clean, and you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet and put on his robe and returned to the table, he said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you should also do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater 
than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Okay, this is strange having someone wash my feet. And I think about my extra long toenails. And I think about how rough my calluses are. And I think, I don't want Mary to do this so she sees all my imperfections. Be glad you have feet. And I see a lot of feet. So I think your feet look good actually. They've done what I need them to do. They've served you well. My mother always said, wipe your clean at toes. <laughs> but that tickles. <laughs> okay. Don't look, Mom. All right. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome, Cheryl. Wow. This makes it look warm water on my cold feet gentle hands. This is very humbling. And likewise, it feels good to be able to do something that uh, you enjoy. Yeah, it's really nice. Because you are a special friend. Thank you, Cheryl. I will miss you when you go. And I will miss you. Between the toes? No. If, if he didn't get between the toes, I'm not going to get between the toes. <laughs> it feels like a mother's hands. Thank you. Thank you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, O Lord. The lifting of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Eternal God, source and goal of all life, lead us to life eternal by the mighty love of Jesus Christ who suffered on the cross, was raised from the dead, and lifted into glory, where with outstretched arms he welcomes the world in his strong and loving embrace, now and forever. Amen. May the spirit of the triune God strengthen and sustain us all throughout these 40 days into the life that is to come. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. <laughs>